of zero inside. And I first want to demonstrate that. I have here something that is not a sphere. It's a paint can. It has some aluminum on top. There's an opening there. It's not perfect. It's not really closed like this is. So the electric field inside will not be exactly zero. But it will be very close. I must have an opening because I want to get in. I want to get charge, see whether there's any charge on the inside. So I must be able to get through. So I'm going to charge this one. And then I will take some charge of the outside and take some charge of the inside and use the electroscope and see whether we can demonstrate that indeed there is charge on the outside, but there is nothing on the inside. I will use the same method that I used last time when I challenged you to figure out how this works. This is this crazy message which we call electrophorus, elec electrophorus. It's difficult to pronounce, electrophorus. We have here a glass plate. I rub it with cat fur. Think about it again. It's a little problem inside the problem. Metal plate. I put it on top. I touch it. I get a shock. I touch it here. I touch it again. I get again a shock. And I charge this up. I touch it again. I get another shock. And I touch it again. Let's get a little bit more on it. The charge on this plate is positive, by the way, that I create on the glass. I touch it. The charge on here is negative, not positive. Put it on again. Touch it. Okay. So I should have negative charge on there now. Here is a little test sphere. It's a conductor. I'll take some charge off from this side. Touch it. Boy, there's charge. No question. We agree, right? There's charge. Okay. Now I touch the inside. Let's hope that no sparks fly over. I touch it, nothing. See it? Absolutely nothing. So there's no charge inside, the charge is on the outside, which is what I just demonstrated. So you see it in front of your own eyes. All the charge goes through the outside. Not so intuitive, but an immediate consequence of the fact that it's a conductor, that the electrons will move freely so that the electric field in the conductor itself is zero. And we have argued that no charge can ever go on the inside of the surface. It all stays on the outside. So when I touched the inside, there was no charge. So if you are inside that conductor, if your house is a conducting house, and someone in the outside world charges your house up, when you're inside, you have no knowledge of that. That's quite amazing, isn't it? You are electrically shielded from the outside world. 